Hey, what's up everybody? So this is Russ with rwgresearch.com and uh, I've been working on the rustic frequency generator. This is the first version. Um, Kevin had sketched or etched a uh, uh, printed circuit board for me so I went ahead and built this and tested it out. Looks like it works well but I did find a couple of, I of issues mainly with the types of chips I was using. Um, I was using a certain D flip-flop. It was a uh, 74 S uh, 74N and it would not work on the high frequency setting um, so basically on the forms on the posts of this particular uh, frequency generator we're going to be putting a couple uh, of chips that we've tested that do not work so um, we do have the, a list of chips that do work um, we'll be posting both that do and don't so when you build this thing and something doesn't work correctly um, definitely check your schematic uh, as far as your wiring your switches up and, and your potentiometers because I even screwed one of those up rushing through it. Um, but we will have a, a selection of chips that do work and try to get those particular chips. You can try other ones and if they don't work then you can add them to the list. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll get to that you know when it comes here on the forms but that will be added to the forms. So uh, here it is. This is the uh, rustic frequency generator. This is version, uh, I believe it was 4.5. There you can see the circuit board. Got it all soldered up nicely. Um, I used the same thing on Pulsefire. This is actually a shorter box than Pulsefire. Uh, I had a taller one. These are shoe displays. Is what these are. Plastic. And I thought I'd use them. I like them. They're open on the bottom and stuff, which you know isn't the best, but I can always close them off. Um, there's the front. There you've got, uh, this is your main frequency. This is your gating frequency. This is your high uh, frequency select, low frequency select. Same on the gating. And then this is the gating on or off. Um, the way this one is um, connected to the LEDs, uh, the output LED is here. Um, the first frequency LEDs here and then this is the gating on or off and it shows the frequency of the gating so this LED isn't on unless I have this on or off um, on the MOSFET you can see how I've got it mounted here on this heat sink and then it's on this fan and this fan had these rubber um, pull throughs for like a thin sheet metal for when you put them in a PC and it was already there I do not have holes back here mainly because there's a little bit of room behind that and that will be good enough for what I'm for what I'm doing. I don't even have the fan hooked up yet. I don't think it'll need it to be honest. It's a pretty big heat sink. Um, but I have the fan on there if I need it. Uh, the power supply is a 12 volt. Um, actually it might be more than 12 volt. I think it is. I think it's like 19 volt. The the No, no, this one's 12 volt. The 5 volt regulator needs at least 7.5 volt. So a 12 volt works good for this particular one. Now the new version, uh, it has a 12 volt regulator and you need at least 14.5 so you'll need like a 15 volt adapter uh, but this was a wall adapter as you can see and what I did is I busted it open I always put it in the vise and crank it real slow and it'll pop those glue seals off it's the best way I figured out how to do it and you can also take a Dremel and cut it but uh, it works well now on the bottom of that power supply there was this um, board with diodes that's how it, it rectifies after your transformer and what I've done is I've added a big capacitor here um, just to try to smooth that voltage out. You don't really need it because uh, the adapters work fine. There's capacitors on our circuit board here that do the same thing. But I had a spot for it on there so I went ahead and added it. Um, I'm going to show you how to test this box, how I would test it. If you have an oscilloscope, good. Uh, you might need it if you have troubles. If you read the schematic and hook everything up the way it's supposed to be, you'll be fine. Um, but I even had issues because I rushed through it. Um, I hooked up one of my gating switches wrong and something didn't work right and then the high frequency wouldn't work on the uh, times 4 selector and I figured out it was one of my D flip flops. Chip just didn't handle that high of a frequency I guess. Um, so I got the camera set up here. I'm going to give you a little demo and uh, show you what I'm doing. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to move this around a little bit and get you a little bit better view. All right, so this will work. So I got my speaker, okay? This is the way I'm going to be testing this. I have a, a speaker. This is a 4 ohm, 2 watt. It's just out of a PC, I believe. You can use any old speaker. Um, and here's what I recommend you do. 
These are resistors. They are, I think, 5 watt. Uh, this one's 270 ohm, that one's 270 ohm. I've got them in uh, series. And uh, the reason I did that is because if you hook this speaker directly up to a battery, this is a 12 volt battery, if you hook it up to a battery into your box, to your IRFP, it will blow up. Uh, you'll blow your speaker up. And a matter of fact, I am going to blow this speaker up today. Just because I already smoked it a little, so we'll finish it off. So basically, I'm going to hook up my MOSFET output here, all right, to my resistor, to my speaker, and then my speaker ground goes to my box. Now, on the schematic, the new schematic has this drawn in. The old one doesn't, uh, but basically, I put an on-off switch through the power, through the MOSFET coming out right here to this power lead, all right, on the power side. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. You can see... Uh, you can see the LED is blinking. You can see my reflection in the background. That's awesome. And uh, basically, this is the the frequency select. All right. And this is the uh, gating select. This is the uh, high low. I don't have any of these marked yet. And then times one, times two, times three, and times four. One, two, three, and four. All right. And then this is the low speed, high speed switch. All right, basically it just doubles the frequency through the capacitors on our circuit board. I don't know if you got a real good close up of the circuit board. I'll be posting high res videos, I mean pictures on my website of this box and the new one so you guys can see that. Uh, right now this is off so you don't hear the speaker. That's why you don't. I'm just kind of showing you the functionalities. Okay, and you can see how it's how it's flashing here. And sometimes it looks backwards like this is your main frequency and this is your gating. But um, really you always want to have your frequency lower than your gating so that you've got that effect uh, like that alright all right. so let's hook this up to the speaker and you can hear the frequencies alright I've got this through the second resistor um, you can put it on the first one I'll show you what it sounds like I'm gonna go ahead and turn the power on alright kinda hard to hear so I'm gonna go up to the next one gets louder. Now if I go all the way to here, it's super loud because you're putting 12 volt directly to that speaker. That's a bad thing to do unless you want to blow your speaker up. Then you're fine. So I'll go ahead and play with this. There's with gating off, just this frequency. All right, and when the gating's on, then the other frequency is actually embedded within that signal. That's what gating does. I don't have the oscilloscope hooked up right now, or so I'd show you, but uh, you can definitely hear the effects. There you can see this LED kind of like phasing. You get it just right. You get it to go real slow. That's really cool to see on the oscilloscope. Alright, so let's blow this speaker up. Actually, i got to show you one thing. Any of you have a, um, a uh, old school Nintendo, alright, and it locked up and the audio was still playing on the TV, this is what it sounds like, okay? I was playing around with this, and I think it's really funny. So I'm going to show you what I think an old busted Nintendo sounds like. i got to find it. Not ah, lower frequency. Something similar to that. There you go, right there. That's what the old school Nintendo always sounded like when it locked up. And you had to shut it off. Ta da! Alright, so let's go ahead and I'm going to hook this speaker up as loud as I can get it, and we're going to smoke it. Why? Because it's already busted. And I want to see if this IRFP will handle it. So here we go.
That is loud. Oh, I can also make the uh, the same effect as your. There you go. What is that? Turn signal. <laughs> At least ours in the U.S. sound like that. That is really loud. It's an alarm clock. I need more power. There we go. Oh, it's smoking. Oh man, it's busted. Oh, it quit. There it goes. Could you see it? I hope you can see it. Smoked it. IRFP is still pretty cold to the touch. So there you go. Uh, just wanted to let you guys see the uh, rustic frequency generator. And I wanted to give you an update on it and let you know that it's uh, it's working well this is version um, like I said 4.5 which is the first version that we uh, released me and Kevin were working on and uh, so the new version will have a lot of other options and um, it'll be able to switch inverting from not inverting it'll have be, be able to actually output two separate frequencies because the generator is two separate frequencies one's gating one's not uh, and this will allow you to play with the gas gun which is actually what I plan on doing uh, the LEDs need to flash at a different rate as the extraction circuit uh, at a different rate um, than the high voltage so these things will be able to be tied together with that box that's the reasoning for the new version so this version works good this is the basic version and um, it works fine um, I recommend that if you'd like to build the uh, if you're not an expert at electronics Try to build this one. I'll be posting all the pictures and data on my website as well. Um, so all the updates and everything will be there for this version. Then later I'll add the other one. So, Russ, rwgresearch.com. I really appreciate it. This video is going to take probably forever to upload. So uh, today is the uh, November 14th, 2012 today. Um, if you guys saw the vi last video I posted with Stan's estate pictures, uh, please make sure that you... Uh, put that link to that video on all the websites, places, email information that you guys know. Just pass that thing around like wildfire. Uh, somebody send it to PESN as well if you want. I haven't done it yet. I emailed them a while back but never got a response. But somebody else can try it. Send it. Peace and love. Rustic Frequency Generator 4.5 complete. I'm going to start some uh, resonant testing soon. See ya.